In this video, I will go over the settings I have for my uh, Alertatron bots. So let's start with uh, this one. This one right here, it's uh, uh, the code for uh, to open a long position and setting a take profit and uh, stop loss at the same time. Why is that important? Like I said previously already, like uh, we can uh, take out some of the variables that can uh, get us to some uh, loss. Like for example, if uh, the exchange or uh, the bot platform or the trading view platform is down, if we don't have a take profit or um, stop loss, we might lose some money, right? So we want to ensure that uh, we have this in place. And not only that, so in, in uh, here in this uh, configuration, I'm also using uh, limit order in order to secure lower fees on the exchange. So let's start with this. Here is just the definition, the, the start of the, the code sequence. And here where we have my API keys, you need to put the, your API key name from the alertatron which you will find in manage api keys you will have here in a, your name yes in my case it's binance f no and you must use here whatever name you have uh, here is the pairing i'm willing to trade with so here i should have binance f but i i put this here because i want to share this code with you and I want it to be uh, easy to understand my API keys, right? So you just need to replace this with the API key name you have here. If you don't have this here yet, uh, please watch the other video I created with all the steps how you can create this. It will uh, show up here above in the right hand upper corner. So yeah, look at that and uh, try to go through those steps before you use this. Uh, code sequences yes so after we initiate this uh, function this uh, code this is just a comment so it won't it won't do anything it's just uh, nice for uh, our uh, eyes to read it to understand what we're doing here and first thing I'm doing here is to set leverage to one you can choose whatever you want here right uh, in this case, I want to keep it simple and I will use leverage one. And after that, like I said, I want to, I don't want to use market buy. You can use market buy as well. Market, market order. Let me cancel orders. Market order, yes. You can very well have this market side by like we have it i have it already here but for for me this code sequence won't trigger until this condition is not met like if it fails to fill the limit order then it will do this it will market by yes so that's the thing uh, in this case like like i said it's very important fees are very important if you manage to keep them low it will have a huge impact on your gains. At the same time, there is a risk because you you might lose opportunity, right? So that's why I have the market buy. In case it goes too far away from the uh, price I'm targeting, I still want to buy. So I don't miss the opportunity, right? So yeah, uh, like I said, this is the command from, uh, from uh, Alertatron, as we can see here. So what is trailing limit order doing? It places a limit order on the exchange and starts to watch it, updating it, if ever ends up more than a certain distance from the price. So this, uh, this is the amount, of course, what is the amount we want to buy and the side, like I said, and here we have the range, the price range. Like if we go here, right here combined 
Min offset and max offset provide a range over which the order will wait to be filled, right? Making min offset and max offset closer, close together results in the order being moved more often, which can affect your fill ratio. Yeah, that's why I'm using 0.02 and 0.04. Now if we go further, slippage limit, the amount of slippage to allow before giving up as an off offset. If the slippage limit is reached, the command stops and any unfilled quantity will be left unfilled. If this argument is missing, there will be no slippage limit and the order will run until it is fully filled or cancelled. Yeah, so these are just details. I don't really recommend you to waste too much time on this. Just use this once and see how it's working for you. And if not, you can dive deeper, read more in documentation and try to optimize them. But to be honest, I just copied this. I just uh, used the same that uh, some other guy posted on the Discord group. So I think it's fine. It's a little bit more balanced. It's a little bit wider than what they uh, recommend here. I think they have as default 1%, 0 0.01 and 0 0.03. So this leaves a little bit more room uh, for, uh, for the orders. So you won't get too often canceled and uh, reposted orders again, right? Uh, yes. And the last thing we have right there is the background and the background through it's a Boolean which can be true or false. Uh, so true to run this command in the background, right? If true, this command won't wait and the bot will move on to the next command in the list immediately, right? I don't want that because when that is going to happen, it will just mark it by, right? So I don't want to, to do that thing. I want it to, uh, to be false. So if false, then the command will wait for the command to finish before the next command is started. Yeah, so this is exactly what I want to do here. I want it to wait until it goes to the next step, which is here, continue, right? After this has been attempted and if it did not work, so we have this condition right here to continue. If the position is less than the value I want to buy for, 95%, right? Then it is going to execute this market buy order which has side buy and amount 95 percent yeah so in this case you just end up uh, with uh, with uh, the order you want to place i hope it's not too complicated but uh, for me i find this to be uh, the most optimized uh, version for me it might sound a little bit too complicated and actually is but as you can see like it's trying to uh, put a limit order and it's updating it until it gets filled and if it fails to do that it will just mark it by right so this is the short version of it and here the next step there is another function that i have right here and this is to place the uh, stop limit and the take profit right so here I'm telling it to wait 30 seconds, right? And after that, I want to tell it when to place this, right? In this case, it's waiting until the position uh, has been filled at least 92%. And after that is placing this uh, take profit and uh, stop loss, right? With this function, stop or take profit. And here it says side. And because we have a long position, we bought first, right? And now we want to sell. And what we want to do with the position, we want position equals zero. We want to sell everything. So we don't have any of the uh, Ethereum anymore in our accounts, right? And here we get from trading view, the, this is the TP from, for take profits and here stop loss, right? Stop loss and take profit. Yeah, very, very uh, straightforward. Yeah, so this is how you do this. This is for the long position, yes? Now, if we go to the short position, for the short position, the only change is that we have side sell here. In the trailing limit order, we need to have sell. Instead of buy, of course. And here, 
we need to have negative value. Negative value and this one Yes, what was it for the long? For the long was 92, yes. And no, 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 yeah, something very important actually. It's not only that. It's instead of uh, position greater than, we have this for long if position greater than I, uh, or which means if the position is greater or equals to that uh, value. And for, uh, for the short, we need to have if position is less than equal. So if the, the value needs to be lower than this, we get right here, right? In order for this to, to work. Yeah. And because something weird happened yesterday uh, the take profits and the stop loss i think i think i'm not sure but i think it's placed on the depending on the price the average price uh, of the entry so what we see here yesterday, something very weird happened. Like I got the position closed by the indicator, but here in the exchange, this position was not closed because it did not hit this uh, price. It was very, very close. It was very close. I don't know, maybe it was uh, 12 instead of 11, but it did not happen. And for that reason, I am using also the um, the close all positions right now which if we go here in cancel orders we will see here right instead of uh, because i made a mistake yesterday i had only market position equals zero i want to uh, to have this as well because this position what is doing it's selling something right but if we have a take profits or stop loss in place in case we get this message before the stop loss or the take profits is hit this will cancel the position without if we don't have this so we don't have that forget about that sequence right here we i'm talking only about the situation where we have only market position equals zero s yes? so if the message is received before the uh, limit is uh, reached it will close the position and the stop loss or the take profits will will buy or sell again so uh, i don't want to do that so for this that's why we need to have this cancel which all which will cancel all the positions as well it won't leave any take profits or stop loss and uh, i think that's it for now if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content and if you want to see more of this in the future.